Hi guys, back out on the bank and um, not to depart too much from the usual, we're um, well, going for some ultralight fishing today with uh, some some small lures. So I'm, what I'm going to hopefully do before we get too much boat traffic come through is test some 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 of the much smaller lures I, I'm using at the moment or trying to use. So <clears throat> I'll give you a quick look. That's the kind of thing. So, but what I want to start with are some of these maggots. So these are the ones that I'm interested in seeing. Yeah. Seeing how these work today. I've got a bit of a theory that these on the drop under the trees will um, or should be should be quite a good all-purpose law for kind of perch, roach, and anything else that's about. So we'll get one of these on, have a few casts, and see how we go. I'll start with a 0.7 gram jig head. I've got a 0.4 gram jig head as well. So. We'll have a few cats and see how we go and see what we can find. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the bank soon. Just see if we get any takers. Oh, there's one had a go. And another, so yeah. They're hitting it, but again, a lot of these fish are really small, so they're not, until I can find the slightly bigger ones, they're probably not going to do very much. There we go, what's that? So that's got to be a perch, is it? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. There we go, that's the first, first fish on the maggot law, or the grub law. That's a little perch. Probably what we might expect. And it's, it's not massive. That's a nice little fish. And there was a lot of fish following that then as well, so <clears throat> mixed. So let's just have a quick look at that. So all that is it's a little grub on a 0.7 gram jig head weight. So ultra light. There's a bit more space here, look, so I'll try and cast over towards that side and just uh, just bring that lure back. So these are floating grubs as well, so they still sink on the 0.7 gram jig head, but they've kind of got a nice, a nice action as they drop in the water. <clears throat> oh, that was a tap, I think. Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, would you believe it? No, don't go under there. Let's get that guy in because I've only got a little floor carbon meter, so I don't want to get it all scritched up. <clears throat> I wouldn't say unexpected because these little pike will, and often do, go for everything and anything, of course. <laughs> there we go. Covered in, covered in mites. It's getting back. Tiny little pike. Thank you. 
So yeah, so I'm really not moving this through the water very much. I'm just kind of, I'm just letting it drop. Um, so bringing it in a little bit and then just letting it drop. So I feel perch, perch will pretty much take anything at any point. And usually at this point, what I've seen is when, it, as long as it's moving, it doesn't really matter how or where. Um, but for oops, a bit of a backlash there, but for the roach bream, it tends to be a more gradual drop as opposed to a kind of a taking something that's got a swimming action. Um, smaller. That's okay, we don't mind, as long as we're catching something. Let's say on this we're using a size... Little fella. We're using a size... Um, what was it? Is it? Is it a size 10? Size 10 or size 12, I think. Jukehead. that could be a little perch is it another one yeah so I can, I can see the grub as it's going through the water and all of a sudden it just disappears <laughs> so I'm not really I'm not really striking on the on the on the fish or on the pull I'm kind of striking when I almost want to see that see that little lure disappear oops Some of those bigger fish just in front of me there, I can just about see. Not there. So what have we got there? Okay. So as soon as that bread goes on, oh, stay still. Oh yeah. We get a little roach. Wow, God, they're slimy. Slabs of fish down there. What are they? Are they roach, tench? What's that one? That's certainly a roach, isn't it? That one wasn't messing about. So they're taking those smaller bits on the drop. Go on, give it up, there we go. Good looking fish, tiny. Well that's not, not tiny tiny, but it's definitely slimy. Okay guys, so I've tried a few different uh, different lures, a few different little techniques, caught a few fish, missed a few fish. Um, so I'm just going to finish off last half hour or so, just see what we can get on this. So it's just a little pink grub with most of its tail intact. Um, I'm, I'm guessing we'll per perch if they're about, but we'll see. Pike also are like these don't they so uh, have a few casts see what we can find it's a good kind of color this little pink color in the in the water
water when it's like this. We'll get more action out of that tail now. Let's just see how that goes. And it'll be a little bit easier to cast, so I can probably cast out some of that, some of those loops. I'll just give it a couple of goes. Yeah, already that tails working much more effectively get much more spin on it I know it kind of sounds like stating the obvious but it's so important to just make sure you get your your soft plastics and your jig heads aligned properly just to get the most most you can out of them I've got a load of loose line there look I have to take quite a bit of that back Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I was just about to say I haven't caught fish for a little while, have I? And then the kiss of death. Or the kiss of pike. Right, again, I'm only fishing fluoro, it's just caught right in the nose, so I'm not too concerned about buying it off. It's not at any level anyway, but let's get it in. Let's get it in and landed quickly. I could in these kind of Mites or lice or something which is kind of interesting. None of the fluorocarbons in its mouth, just just that hook point through the top. So nice little pike. My brain's caught in the net, so I'll just scoot him, scoot him straight back. Not a glamorous release, but a release. Okay guys, even um, you know that pipe was only a tiddler. Still got plenty of teeth, so I just do a quick quick check on the line just to make sure there's no chunks taken out of it. Um, and there isn't, that's fine. Okay, so let's continue with a little grub, see what else we can find. Is it going to be pike testing now? Or are there going to be any little perch that show up? Don't know. Cool to see that little pike swirl on it there. Plenty of followers there. So that wart's cleared down again fairly nicely here. Visibility's come back. Um, so it hasn't taken too long to clear up again, which is nice. Oh, <laughs> just as I said that, there's another boat steaming through. flat bottom barges do tend to stir up the water a hell of a lot more than some of the others. Oh dear, 